see me struggle on that on the side of that wall there. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I think uh, all those reds. Oh, just Red one. Dudes. Just one. Oh, they'll come. Oh. They'll all come. But I'll be blinking, and I can make it down that that rope. You'll be like that guy in uh, Robin Hood Men Tights. Hey, blinking. Yeah. No, blinking. Blinking. Yeah. <laughs> the blind guy. Yeah. Did Isn't you that say? Lincoln? Yeah, he goes, "Hey, Blinken." And he goes, "Did you just go? Did you say call me a Blinken?" <laughs> no, I said, "Hey, Blinken." Yeah, isn't that Dave Chappelle? Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, I love. Uh, we're men. We're men in tights. Tights. <laughs> uh, Mel Brooks, I feel like, is a national treasure. Dude, I love Mel you know? Brooks. Spaceballs. Yeah. Uh, Spaceballs. Spaceballs. One the placemat. One of my favorite. Spaceballs. The flamethrower. Of with, all time. With yogurt. The kids love this yeah. one. <laughs> and, uh, Barf. Oh, shit. And Airplane. Yeah, Airplane. Uh, Airplane Great. wasn't Mel Brooks, oh, it but, was it was, Brooks uh, yeah. but it was a spoof movie. The, uh, yeah. uh, oh, Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. What was so another good. Mel Brooks movie? Uh, uh The that, Producers. The Producers. Yeah. No, that's not what I was thinking of. He does a 10. There's another huge one that he, he does. That he did. Um, do we need the Tender Crowd, do you think? Broken trumpet. I like the way the tender kraut sounds. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of the sudden guts, but yeah. We'll keep oh, it. There you go. We'll Give keep it to it. cheesy. Yep. Hey, cheesy, got some Use guts for cheese. you. Badass. I like how um, cheese drink a capsule. Yeah. Let's see. It was. Uh, he probably breaks it open and then scoops the contents into his. Uh, like a coconut. Like a coconut. The, yeah. Uh, what are the space balls, blazing saddles? I'm um, missing one. There's young one. Frankenstein. There's one in my head. Um, another Mel Brooks. Oh man. Yeah, I can't think of anything right now. Actually. Oh. Those are kind of my go-to's, I guess. Oh, this is killing me right now. This is killing me. Dude, dude, got it. Diadem, Diadem of, of Kings. Kings. Larry like, takes it. Let's equip it. I like how how it's not. Uh, Oh, there, there Adam you go. Adam Kings, 156 to 176. Wear the Thank crown goodness. that you were oh. born to wear. Oh, History of the World Part 1. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Here you go. Did you it's a great it? movie. Of course I did. <laughs> what else they is They can't there? tell unless you... Oh, I mean, did you pull that out of your mind bank? I pulled it out of my ass is what your, I did. Your mind palace. Yeah, Young Frankenstein, yeah. the producers... Oh, Dracula Dead and Loving It. Oh, I yeah, loved that dude. Movie. Wow. That was great. Um, did you record? No, he was just in that. He was, he was, uh, he acted in it. I don't think, he might in have Dracula? made Dracula? Yeah. Yeah. Who was he that? Was that Leslie Nielsen? Was yeah, that that Leslie one? Nielsen was Yeah, Dracula. that was a good one. That was great. I love that movie. I love Leslie Nielsen. But he was, uh, I think he was, uh, what's, what's his, Van Helsing. I think Mel Brooks was Van Helsing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, uh... There we go. There we go. Dracula dead and loving it. Yeah, Leslie Nielsen, man. What a national treasure. What a great dude. Fucking I used to love... Guns. You know, I, I before... Wrongfully accused. Wonderful movie. Spy Hard. Spy Hard! You know, I think it was, uh... This was a mistake. When I was younger, I was, was really into the James Bond type theme. But yeah. I loved Naked Gun way more than I loved... James Bond. Oh yeah, yeah. The spoof. You like yeah. the spoof better? Oh man, Naked Gun to me, like Leslie Nielsen was like the cool guy. I wanted to be Leslie Nielsen, and he was with Priscilla Presley. How cool! Yeah, is that? that's true. Yeah, yeah. Dynamite. That was back when, like, and when the OJ thing went down, yeah. I didn't even think of OJ Simpson I know. as a football player. I know. I, I like, thought of him from yeah. From I was like, uh, uh, dude from Naked Gun, yeah. <laughs> that hilarious guy from Naked Gun, is getting yeah. into some trouble. Yeah, what's he doing? What's this guy all about? What's he doing? Little did I know, he was a running back for yeah, he, for well, some team. Yeah, I don't even know what team he. Here's another about. thing that I totally didn't like realize when I was a, a child. I loved Nirvana when I was younger. Like, I loved Nirvana. Like the the band, I loved the songs. Yeah. Didn't even realize that Dave Grohl was really the drummer. Oh, really? Because he had such long hair, and then when he was in Foo Fighters, like, and when that uh, Learn to Fly song came out, yeah, he'd cut all of his hair off. So, to me, he looked completely different. And I didn't put two and two together until probably... Like in the two thousands, you finally figured it out. Yeah, and so I was like, yeah. I was like, and when he started growing his hair back longer, I'm like, oh, sh that's, that's he's, he's from Nirvana. Jesus Christ! 
That's funny. I guess maybe when I researched it more, and I'm like, oh, that is Dave Grohl. Yeah. Like, that's what it was. Well, it's like, I mean, there's there's some actors that I know that I, I mean, did you know Jack Black was in The Jackal? Yeah, the movie, I the do. Jackal, he's the guy that gets his arm blown yeah, up. Yeah, I had no idea who that was. Absolutely. I, and then I it's like, that. holy yeah. fuck, that's Jack Black. Well, I find out, found out like when uh, a while ago, but... It was oh, it's I was just here's another thing. I rewatched Galaxy Quest and oh, yeah. Dwight was in it. Oh yeah, he's one of the aliens. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Deadpool, one of the Thermians, is in Deadpool. Oh really? Yeah. Which one? It's the it's the one who's uh, by Graftar's hammer. He's like the engineer. He's the guy. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. That the, one? Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's the Thermian. younger looking one. The, he's kind of a oh wait no no kind no, of no, a thin no, face. no no I'm no? wrong. It's not that one. It's uh man I can't remember who it is. Was it the guy for? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I think ooh, it was. Yeah. I think it's the guy who, who was trying to do the, the, uh, the teleporting machine. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he gets the he, when they try and do the pig, and then he's and it's like the inside out. Yeah, and it like spooks. Yeah, I think on it's him. him. It's him. It's yeah. not the young guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. But he's in Deadpool, and so I was like, "What? That's nuts! How am I only recognize these people from Galaxy Quest?" I know. Well, it's crazy to think that, like, I mean, or it's crazy to see people that you know now in stuff that they did, like when they were growing up, or yeah, when they were younger. Or when they were younger. And you may yeah. have seen that movie, but at the time, they were not even a person that you would pay attention to. Until like much later, you know? freaks and geeks, like oh yeah, that's like freaks oh, yeah. and geeks. Pretty much, Central. yeah, yeah. I'm actually re I'm reading uh, Judd Apatow's book uh, called uh, oh I can't remember what it's called. I have it in the bag over there, but it's uh, like going crazy or something like that. Okay. Or uh, my therapist recommended it to me, which is very funny. The, is it uh, about like uh, his work on the films and stuff? Or sick in the head is what it's called. Okay, and uh, it has a picture of like an emoji that's based off him that has fire on the top. So that's why I, I was doing it. But it's actually him interviewing a lot of people, uh, a lot of comedians uh, about comedy and how they got into comedy and what they qualify as jokes and that kind of wow. stuff. And he's been doing it. Uh, he did it when he was younger. When he was like seventeen, he interviewed comedians for this like radio station or whatever. Oh, okay. But didn't really put out a lot of that material, but then he went back to it and then kind of like uh, interviewed people over the past couple of years. Nice. And so it's a very interesting read. Uh, it, it's very uh, dependent on what... Did I just kill all four of them? That's Dude, I killed all of them at once. That's how you know that you're strong. That's how you know that we're way overleveled. <laughs> strong with the force, we are. Go on, sorry for interrupting. Um, no, that's cool. The uh, but so it's very hit or miss because some of them are good and some of them are just not that good, depending right. on what the interview brings to it. Um, but it's an interesting read, and uh, it's interesting to talk about freaks and geeks. He talks about freaks and geeks a little bit, kind of uh, now over. 20, like, almost 20 years Okay. after. I mean, it's, like, probably 15. It was 90s, late 90s, right? Yeah. Early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. So, I <laughs> This is the Earth's belly button. These rocks are strange. <laughs> but it's interesting to see it from hindsight and see all the famous people that came out of that yeah. and how he works with a lot of those well, same people. You watch some of those more recent Jet Avatar movies with all those same guys. And it's like, wow, it's yeah. crazy to think that like that they met that long ago. Well, he said that he kind of has made it a point in all of his movies to make those people who he cast initially become like to work with those people because yeah. they're so great. Yeah. It's interesting. He also interviews Jerry Seinfeld in two different forms. I think uh, he also does. Uh, what was the other person who he does in two different sittings? Gary Shandling, I want to oh, wow. say. Yeah, he does a whole bunch of cool people. He like he interviewed Steve Allen, the first like talk show host. Oh, holy cow! Yeah, back before he passed away, it's it's really cool. Yeah. It's it's an interesting book. It makes me uh, want to try and develop my stand up comedy even more. Nice, dude. Yeah, which I guess I think this kind of helps us with, you know. Yeah, I think that this helps with the at least the improv aspect of at it. At least, yeah, the rea reacting and the. And yeah. the thinking on your feet and stuff, yeah. The, uh, the phrasing of a story, my whole thing is the phrasing of a story to get the most laughs out of it. Right. And the I'm kind much, of... I'm much better at, uh, at in-the-moment humor and comedy than I am about, like, actually structuring stand-up. Yeah, I think... You know, and that's just because I've never, I've never practiced. Like, I've never put together a set and worked it and, and tried to get something good out we of it. We should do that sometime. Try to come up with our with a stand up. Why not? Why not do some stand up? Why not? 
Let's do an open mic one night, you and me. Maybe do a terror blog about it. Fuck! Well, we could do a terror blog, I guess. Do an open mic. I mean, I don't really want to because what <laughs> right, is horrible? What horrible? <laughs> well, yeah, we'll just tell everybody yeah, about it afterwards. Yeah, we could just be like, yeah. you know, or like tell our jokes and then... What? What the fuck? What the fuck, lightning man? You know what? Super Saiyan skeleton? Let me beat this guy. Yeah, It'll be the end of the episode. End. Jesus Christ. We could just do like our jokes and then we could do like ha 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 <laughs> over it. Well, and like we could be in the audience, so we could uh, we could laugh for each other. <laughs> We'd be the only yeah. person in the audience who laughs. You could just at tell that Jeff's the only one who laughs at my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know the laugh. Yeah. You know the laugh. You've heard it. Well, thank you All guys right. so much for watching. Revive Tune in these next guys. time. Uh, oh, I'll do it now. Yeah. Now. Uh, uh, well, um, I've got some life noodles. I Tune think. in next time. You got one at least. But I don't. But it's in. But it's in uh, cheeses. Yeah. Just just revive and then use a couple life noodles. Okay, so revive. I'll revive, revive cheese. cheese and then do the. No, 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 no! That's the worst possible thing you could have done. It wasn't the very worst. It was one of the worst. <laughs> it was. It like, was not the worst. It was a pretty bad it one. It was just. It was a pretty bad one, but it wasn't <laughs> the worst thing I could have done. I could have. Uh, <laughs> I, I could, could have taken out the cartridge while we were playing. I could have just I could have thrown away the cup of life noodles. That I could have broke really <laughs> Well, I mean you could have just used the Damn it, now I really wish I would have used that why does he only have ninety? I guess that's all that it heals, huh? Well I'm well, a life of yeah, the we're, this cheese. Okay. We're well, gonna thank go. you guys thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time and hopefully we can finish this cave. Bye. For you. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you call? Uh, what did What did the bratwurst say? Or what did? This is great. What did the bratwurst say to the bun? Uh, what? Gluten tog. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. That's this a terrible. Is, this is what the comedy show would sound That's like. It. <laughs>